Today I'm joined by uh, Becky Henderson and Becky is the Director of Strategy and Content for Smart Digital. Hello Becky. Hi Dan. Uh, Becky, we're going to talk about beyond hybrid and specifically 365 uh, approach to content. So you've kindly going to give us uh, some insights and tips and tricks. So over to you. Thanks Dan. So I was going to talk about firstly um, really having why it's important to have a year-round content programme. And what we've seen over the past year is that a lot of events had a year-round channel pre-COVID, but that's massively ramped up over the last year and has been just as big a trend as the, as the trend to virtual events and to, to hybrid events. And they work very well together. So um, what we're really talking about is having um, a monthly uh, theme-based rolling con program of content uh, that enables you to, to really keep your audiences engaged um, all year round and also enables you to keep your exhibitors and sponsors engaged all year round. Fantastic because I think you know I know when I worked at trade shows obviously and what I what I received as well a lot of them are text-based sort of monthly newsletters so obviously what you're talking about is video content as well right but some might be unique um, and not from the show previous and others might be repurposed from previous show and also I guess you'll agree it will help um, visitor retention for going forward and potentially be more cost effective. Yes, definitely. So, so I think um, it works very well to have a, a have content that um, you can have lots of lots of written content. So we produce channels that have edit editors okay. and special yep. subject matter experts. Um, but video content is where the most engagement is online. Sure. Um, so actually, you need to have video as part of that mix. Um, and I think things have changed quite a lot in the past year. So prior to last year. A lot of the video we were creating was at events and we would try and capture sort of enough enough content thought leadership content to use over three the following three months on a content channel right. what we have started doing with people like um mobile world live or clarion's ice 365 channel is remote filming in, in the last year um and actually that has a huge number of benefits because you can get really top level speakers who don't have to leave their home or office um you can produce get some really good content from them um, and you can actually quite often film content with exhibitors prior to the event. Um, we did some, some recently that we captioned um, in Chinese uh, from Mobile World Live before Mobile World Congress Shanghai. Um, so you can, you can actually capture a lot of those kind of exhibitor and sponsor deliverables prior to the event and put them out both on the digital channel and then at the event itself. Yeah, so you make your point, the techniques essentially have changed of the way that we not only are consuming content, but also the production of it. And I think also people, I guess, on the other end of the camera are now more used to doing it remotely. Yeah. So I'm sure you did some pre-pandemic, but now I think if an organiser phoned a, a client or a, a speaker, they've probably had some sort of touch point and done it over the last 12 months and they're more used to it. Yeah, definitely. Right right yeah. at the beginning of last year, it was quite funny doing uh, remote yeah. interviews and you know, sometimes you could just see the top of someone's head. Yeah. Or, uh, but yeah, everybody's used to it. Everybody has decent... Decent equipment. You don't need expensive equipment, but sure. you just need an HD camera. You need decent equipment. Um, and actually, I think we everybody thought of it as, as just a, a stopgap until the pandemic was over to do remote filming. But actually, yeah. it has significant advantages. I think long term. Sure. And we're going to go on and talk about how digital and live work together. So it'd be good to um, get some viewpoints and the experience of of, of that from you. So I, I think they they work really well they're, uh, together. There's a great deal of synergy between the two. So uh, an example would be um, with Farnborough Airshow, who we work with. So their We Are Thin channel um, for their event two years ago, we um, worked and produced lots of uh, content prior to the event, both with sponsors and also with speakers, where you get a taste of what speakers were going to be offering at the event itself. So really driving up awareness and engagement with the different programs that would be on site at the event. Uh, then on site at the event, um, Finn became the on site TV network. So we then ran a film studio, we had filmed all the uh, conferences, um, we would have lots of interview crews and do daily highlights, and those were all going out on the, the screen network on site. But then a lot of that content that we captured was specifically for the content being delivered after the event. So okay. you would know maybe that you have a feature coming up two months later on engine technology. So you deliberately go out and seek out those, those experts at the event and capture the, those interviews. And then you've got lots of content to use on the channel post event. Um, and I think the other thing I would say is it works really well for sponsors and exhibitors, just because you can give them a, a pre-event program where people drive up awareness of what they do um, and then 
they, then they've got the event itself and then post event you can produce more content for them or do post event interviews with them and it, it just gives you a much longer period where which they can engage your audiences and, and you can monetize that accordingly yeah absolutely and i think um also potentially could open up the possibility of new commercial models so you know all show organizers are now becoming publishers and with publishers comes the opportunity of subscription models potentially for content so it opens up a whole another area of uh, commercial opportunities um thank you so much uh, Becky Henderson, um, Director of uh, Strategy and Content for Smart Digital, uh, for your um, tips on audience engagement and approach to content. Thank you, Anne. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.